Excellent. Soccer is soccer. Yeah, I saw you guys out there. We're in the field. 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 We're in the field.
Let's ask the mud to let us go. Yes, let's, Coral. But be polite. Nice mud. Gooey mud. Squishy mud. Muddy mud. You're the nicest mud we know. Please be kind and let us go. <sighs> Listen, mud. Let us go. Now. Silly mud is just not listening. I don't think mud can listen to anybody. Mud's not like us. It's just mud. We could call for help again. Hazel isn't here. Maybe she'd hear us. Hazel's probably in a tree collecting acorns for the winter. We could sing! How will singing get us out of the mud? Uh, I don't know. But it's fun, and I don't have any more ideas. Maybe Thunder's right. Sometimes it's good to take a hop stop. It helps you get new ideas. We are stuck. Happy to see you. Hazel, we're stuck. We can't get out of the mud. Stuck? Quake and acorns! Why didn't you say so? I'll help. How? Find something long. Throw it here. We'll hold tight. You pull us out. Thumpika! That's a hoptastic idea. I'll do it. Don't go away. Yeah. Mouse, I'll lower the spine. Can you loop it over Thunder's tail? I'll try. But it's very muddy down there. You can do it, Mouse. Just hop like me. That's it. That's it, Mouse. You've got it. Oh, all right. This way. Over here. Uh-oh. This is not good. I've been stuck in a tree, stuck in a rut, stuck for an answer, and stuck in the snow, but I've never been stuck in the mud. Until now. And I want to be unstuck. So let's hop think about how to get out of this mud. Ready? Ready. Uh, oh, cabbage. I can't hop. How can we have a hop think if I can't hop? Or if I can't stamp my feet. Our muddy feathers are just too yucky. Can't ruffle them. Can't hop think. Gee, Whiskers, we need a hop think about hop thinking. My tail twitches, so I'm okay. Oh, oops, sorry. And Mouse can quiver his whiskers. Mouse isn't stuck. He can do everything. Thumpika, problem solved. Mouse can do our hop thinking stuff for us. I'll try. <laughs> We're stuck. How do we get unstuck? That's what our hop think is about. We could push each other. <laughs> can't reach. Too bad we can't fly. Maybe we could. I don't have any wings. We have ears. Let's flap those. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. But we need to keep hop thinking. <laughs> Let's push the mud. Push it where? Away from us. In a pile. A pile of mud? What good is that? If we made the pile high enough, maybe we could climb to the tree. Everybody push! Gooey, <laughs> 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 okay. gooey, slippy, slimy, gushy. Squashy. And too squishy to make a pile. Too bad. We're still stuck. We're all still stuck. And we'll all stay stuck. Maybe that's okay. Maybe we're not hop-thinking the best question. We're not? Do we all have to get out of the mud? No. If one of us can get to the shore, then they can go for help. So the best question is, how do we get someone to the shore? Mouse should go. He's not even stuck. But how do I get there? Maybe there's a way. If I can reach... <laughs> We did it! Go, Mouse! You 
can do it! Sometimes you have to do a lot of hot thinking before you find the best question and the best answer. You can do it! We're with you! Be careful! Whoa, whoa! <gasps> I can't look! Keep going, Mouse! Not too fast! Not too slow! What do we do now? Um, we can all sing again. Hey! Whoa! What was that? Hip hopperoo! It's Edwina! Yay! Hey, Edwina! You're stuck! Yes! And we want to get unstuck! Stay there! We'll do a hot think about the best way to get us out. Easy! I guess sometimes you don't need to hop think if you already know what to do, like Edwina did. We were stuck, but we laughed. And we never gave up. <laughs> Edwina says this is the best place for mud baths because you can't get stuck. Why not? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. Being stuck was a little strange. But when you're stuck with good friends, you can still have lots of fun while you think of the best way to get out. And you know what else? I don't mind the mud so much anymore. We're in luck. We're not stuck. Play Kids Bop. Hey, kiddos. Do you know who I am? Hmm, let's see. Will you recognize me if I do this? Some people hear us before they see us. Listen again. You guessed it. I'm the woodpecker. The great spotted woodpecker, to be precise. You'll find woodpeckers anywhere in the world except Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Antarctica? <laughs> Cold, no trees. Well, you can imagine why we don't live there. We need trees because we live amongst them. Well, a few of us prefer deserts over forests or woods. Go figure. Ah, oh, that's better. We tree climber woodpeckers have powerful feet that help us to grip and cling to a tree trunk. Like so. Humans need machines, but we use our beaks to hammer away at tree trunks or branches, and we do this for different reasons. To build homes for ourselves. Hey! Or to catch our food with our long, long tongue. We eat insects. And we also eat fruits. And here's a hole I made earlier. I store my nuts here. Anyway. Some say that the holes we drill in trees damage them, but that's not true. I said that's not true. Look, we only attack the wooden trees that has already been weakened by insects. We don't hurt trees. We love trees. And don't worry, this drilling doesn't hurt me. Unlike him, we have a built-in shock absorber that stops us from knocking ourselves out. Oops, I better see if this guy is okay. Listen out for us. Bye. You are not your diagnosis. A medical chart is not your identity. And vision loss does not define you. Your drive shows who you are. And you are not alone. Because we are driven to. To be a beacon of strength, a champion of courage, an advocate for hope. You are not alone. Because we are stronger together. We drive the research for the cures we're finding. 
We're fighting macular degeneration. LCA. Retinitis pigmentosa. And the entire spectrum of blinding retinal diseases. We fund. We fight. We, we win. win. We, 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 we are the, the foundation fighting, fighting blindness. blindness. Together, we are fighting blindness. Join the fight at fightingblindness.org. Hello. You know what it's like when you're little. You need special care, right? To grow up big and strong. Like me. That's what we found out when we took care of Pilly. Who's Pilly? Oh, he's... Well, it's a good story. It all started one day when my friend Rabbit was... Caratabunga! Leapin' Lettuce! That was the most caratastic hop ever! I gotta show Mouse. Hey, you guys, you have to see this. I call it the Triple Bipple Backwards Flipple! Yuck! <laughs> Wow! That was a caratastic hop! Especially that wiggle at the end. <laughs> that wiggle wasn't part of my hop. Uh, there's something on my head, and it's really squirmy. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, what is it? What is it? He's a little itsy weeny caterpillar. A caterpillar? He needs to get off my head. I have to do my triple bipple backwards flipple. <laughs> Quake and acorns, I gotta see that. Oh, you're gonna love this, Hazel. First I run, run, run. Then I jump into the air and I... Uh, ooh, ooh. Wow! I like that wiggly hop. Wait! What about Pilly? Pilly? Who's Pilly? Pilly is the name I gave to the caterpillar on Rabbit's head. Hi, Pilly. Aw, oh, look. He's attached himself to your ears, Rabbit. He must think you're a tree branch. <laughs> but I'm not a tree branch. I'm a rabbit who wants to do his triple bipple backwards flipple. Mouse is right. You can't flipple with Pilly on your ear. It's not safe. He's so small, he'll go flying off and get hurt. Then we have to get him off my ear safely. We better hop think on this. <gasps> but how can you hop think with Pilly on your ear? Very softly. The question is, how can we get Pilly off my ear? We tried to pull him off. But he's stuck to Rabbit's ear. Like a branch. What if we give him a different branch to stick to instead of Rabbit's ear? Great idea. But how do we get him stuck to it? Oh, I know. Mouse, your tail looks like a worm. What if you called him in a worm voice and wiggled your tail? Thumbika, that's it. Mouse could pretend his tail is a friendly worm who wants to share his snack with Pilly. Oh, Pilly, Pilly, come over here. Come on, Pilly, come on. Whoa! Hey! He's really stuck on there now, and we're stuck on how to get him off Rabbit's ear. Maybe we should ask for help. How about Jasper? He knows all about bugs. Yippee! <laughs> The little guy seems really happy. Maybe you should just let him stay on your head, Rabbit. But my flipple. <laughs> you know, Rabbit, if you can just wait a little bit longer, you'll get to do your flipple, and you'll also get a nice surprise. <gasps> a surprise? Tell us! Tell us! It's a surprise about Pilly. Pilly is the caterpillar stuck to Rabbit's head. Oh, he's so sweet and small. We have to take care of him. We're the best taker carers ever. Take care of him? He needs to be warm. And sheltered. And most of all, safe from the wind and weather. And that means... Rabbit, Rabbit has, has to, to sit, sit still. What? At least until Pilly leaves your head. Rabbit sit still to take care of Pilly? That's going to be tricky and a really big problem. We better hop think. No! It's okay. He can hop think softly. Hmm. The question is, how do we help Rabbit settle down? <laughs> he needs a nice, peaceful place to rest. How about a nest? Great idea. But it takes a long time to build one. What if he just lies down in the soft grass? We can watch the sunset, and I'll tell him a story. I'll make him his favorite drink, carrot juice. That'll be so nice. 
All we need is a lullaby. We'll sing one. These are all great ideas. Rabbit, what do you think? Rabbit? <laughs> we better start calming him down and fast, or Pilly won't have a safe place to grow up. <sighs> it's okay, Rabbit. Come back this way. Here you go, Rabbit. Some nice, soft grass. And carrot juice, your favorite. Uh -oh. Wait! Carrot juice is an energy drink. It will just give him more bounce. We need something to take his bounces away. Oh, I know. Want to hear a story, Rabbit? Once upon a time, there was a hoppy rabbit who loved to do triple, bipple, backwards, flipples. Ooh, I'm going to like this one. Triple, bipple, huh? backwards. Hey. Rabbit, rabbit, no. no. Oh, hey. oh. Maybe you better change the story a little. Here you go. A nice, relaxing mint drink. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> that feels nice. <sighs> Once there was a nice, calm rabbit named Rabbit. And a brave little caterpillar named Pilly. Oh. He sure is a cute little guy. One day, Pilly saw two nice furry things. He thought they were branches, but actually they were Rabbit's ears. And the next morning, when Rabbit woke up, there was a really big surprise waiting. The end. What is it, Jasper? What's the surprise? Wait and see, Rabbit. Wait and see. <laughs> hey, Rabbit. We made up a special song for you and Pilly. This will take the final hops out of those feet of yours and settle you down to sleepy sleep sleep. There once was a rabbit named Rabbit. When he came to a hop, he would grab it. But once while flipping, he looked up and said, Flipping? I think there's a something stuck to my head. Shush, 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 shush. I think your song should be a little softer, girls. Oh, Pilly, my Pilly, you're so nice and sweet and silly. I'll give you some water, I'll make you a bed. I'll keep you safe right here on my head. I think he's asleep. <laughs> oh, Pilly, my Pilly, you're so nice and sweet and silly. I'll give you some water, I'll make you a bed. I'll keep you safe right here on my head. <laughs> Soft grass, mint drink. Belly rubs, stories, and lullabies. Uh, I'm really sleep. Sleep. Pilly? Pilly? Mouse, search my head. He's not. No! Pilly's gone! Oh, Mouse, where could he be? He can't have gone far. He's so small. What are you doing? We're looking for Pilly. He's lost. He's not lost. He's right here. That's the surprise. Pilly's inside this chrysalis. He made it himself. It's like a soft, cozy house to sleep in. He has to stay in there for a while, but if you take good care of him, he'll get an even bigger surprise. Oh! Hey, now that Pilly's off my ear, I can do my triple bipple backwards flipple. Want to see? <laughs> sure! Triple bipple backwards flipple! <laughs> <laughs> my quivering whiskers! That's some flipple! Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> we better go check on Pilly.
Mouse! Mouse! Look! Oh. Billy! Look at you! You're a butterfly! <laughs> yep! We took good care of Pilly so he could grow up safe and sound. We fed Pilly, and Rabbit let him sleep on his head. Then, when Pilly was in his chrysalis, we all watched him, especially Rabbit, and kept him warm and safe. And now... He's a butterfly. Hey, Pilly! Try this! <laughs> Triple, bipple, backwards, flipple with a silly Pilly wiggle! That's our Pilly! <laughs> And my friend, Rabbit. The seabed is that you're looking for me. I'm a ray, you know? A stingray. Poor thing. Thinks he can hide from me. So let's make this interesting. See if you can guess what sea animals we're related to. Hey, cuz, how you doing? Yeah, you guessed it. We're cousins of the shark, which means we're fish. Weird looking fish, but all the same. To you, we probably look like we've been flattened from top to bottom. Get out of here! If you know what's good for you! So I suppose now you're wondering where my mouth is. As you can see, my eyes are here, on the top of my head. So... Yeah, that's right! My mouth and my nostrils are on the underside! Amazing stuff! Look, together they form a happy face. We raise in graceful swimmers because of our fins. See how they're joined to our heads? That's how we get our diamond shapes. For us rays, our fins are like wings. Rays can be found anywhere in the world. You'll find that some rays are giants, like the manta ray. Its name means blanket in Spanish because of its giant fins. Some, like the electric ray, can shock you if you touch them. And rays like me can sting you, so watch out for my poison. So one last question, and this time no clues. How am I going to catch that shrimp? There you are, little thing. <laughs> Bet you didn't guess right this time. Wow, he's fast. See ya. Meet the lovable monsters that love math and are always ready to help their friends by solving math problems and equations. Monster Math Squad, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Super Geek Heroes! There's a bag beside my feet, full of equipment. Such a treat! I love football, I think it's great. Kick the ball to your teammate. Here's a tennis racket, now get set, serve the ball over the net. Golf is next, iron in my hand, tee up your shot and avoid the sand. A few more items in the bag, let's look. Ice hockey's a game with a stick and a puck. Athletics is cool. Sprint down the track. Race for the line and don't look back. Yay! 
so many sports to play and pick. Let's end this rhyme with a skateboard trick. Woohoo! My superpowers help me to learn. Yeah. Okay. Together. Mm -hmm. And today, mm -hmm. the Gibble Goose girls found out the same thing. Huh? Uh -huh. Who's Splash? I like splashes. Yeah, when I'm awake. Oh, let's go see. 